Hello and welcome to the Gambia College. So here on Better Future Production with myself, Galo Gambia and Lamin Enba. As you can see me in my uniform, which vividly tells you that I am currently in school. A debate competition taking place right now in the Gambia College among the four sister school. That is the School of Education, the School of Agriculture, the School of Nursing, and the School of Public Health. Everybody is now thinking which school will come out with the victory. Please follow me inside and let's take a look. Good afternoon, uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, members of the high table, members of the middle table, and even without those without table. Uh, my co debaters and each and every person who is in, the hall, in this hall today to witness this debate, sit down very carefully and learn uh, what I'm coming to say, and learn something and experience. Because we, we're not here to, to say things just to get points, but we're here to make you understand and experience what we're coming to say. Okay, uh, the, the topic, uh, the debate, the topic of discussion is uh, this house believe that social media is anti-socialist. This house believe that social media is anti-socialist. Uh, Honorable Speaker, if you could allow me, I will uh, schedule my uh, things on how I'm going to uh, elaborate on them. One, I will start with the perimeter of the debate. Second, I will come and, okay. Uh, first of all, the perimeter of the, of, of the debate is, uh, okay, the definition of tab, sorry. Uh, the, 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 the social media, it is an interaction between individual or group of people. to share ideas, exchange ideas, images, videos, using the internet. Anti-social means how harm it is. How social media is harm to people, how it is how it harms to, to, to the society. That's what we are, that's what we are coming to, to talk about today. Yeah, break up a lot of marriages. You know, break a lot of friendships. When you isolate yourself, you always want to depend on your phone. You don't want to listen to what others are saying. For example, you are in class. You don't want to listen to the teacher what he's saying. You know, you always want to depend on your phone while it is an disadvantage to you. You don't want to listen. When the teacher is saying, or is lecturing you, you don't want to listen. Depending on the social media, thinking that it is something which is so advantageous to you. Well, it's not, you know, let us, ladies and gentlemen, let us uh, be so frank here. Uh, one single choice of word can make someone, uh, can make someone accepting or denying your message. But what I'm saying here, it is the reality. We all know, we all know the disadvantages of uh, social media, how harmful it is, honestly. It is so harmful to us, and you know, we have to get very careful in this, because it is taking our world upside down. We believe in it, we think that it, it will take our world in the future. No, it's gonna take it back forward, back forward, not forward. Social media is taking it back forward. Let us try to be so careful in social media. Let us focus what will make our life possible tomorrow, but not to defend on social media. Social media, it is the last thing, don't believe in it. It costs more harm than good in our society right now. Honorable Speaker, I think you could believe me. And my conclusion is, let us be so careful in social media. I think uh, my time is all out right now. I will think on everyone of you. Thank you very much. Mr. Kiapazin, I will let you through the, the structure of my debate. First, first, I will give you the introduction, review the point of the Prime Minister, give you my own point, and then finally, I conclude and summarize. First, this house believes that social media is antisocial. I will tell you, this so called Prime Minister that you are seeing in front of you, who cannot even give the true correct definition of social media, is telling you that social media is antisocial. How can a Prime Minister, can, a Prime Minister in a house, cannot even define a word properly? What is the essence of you sitting down here? You're sitting down here, it's the same to the whole house here. First, Mr. Kiapazin, I will give you the definition of social media, and social, and I will romanticize them. I will define them in a way that everybody in the house will know their definition of their fingertips. Social media connects the world. The word social connects we the ones together. The word social connect us together. And when you talk of media, it is something that we engage in, that we learn, and that we know things. 
when a prime minister cannot even define this, what is his essence of sitting down here? In his speech, he said he didn't even know whether social media is affecting people in this present generation of ours. How can you say that you don't know? Social media didn't affect anybody. Because when you come to the Gambia College here, all our learning process are on social media. You go to the School of Public Health, you learn through social media. Anywhere in the Gambia, and you cannot know things nowadays without going through social media. When you look at the construction of our present now, before you see what hot rooms, but now you see a very designed, beautiful buildings. You see buildings that you know even passing by them. They attract you. Some they took the structure from social media that they come and build in their compound. So why? Why are you still not convinced that social media plays a vital role in our present generation? I'm here to speak for the motion. This House believes that social media is antisocial, which is very right. Mr. Chairperson, I would like to report the points of this so-called late opposition and also to straighten the points of my Prime Minister. Mr. Chairperson, I will start by saying the, 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 the so-called so led oppositions make business of social media helping people, happy people to have like, to learn new dress code, style of dress codes. What's that? What is it? What is the help that the social media is giving us to know how to wear to have good dress codes? This is not that is very wrong. The only thing the social media help us when, when it comes to dress code is to wear bad dress codes, which is really no good. People are following social media to, to copy bad dress code styles, which is very undecent. And also make mention of greetings, saying people learn greetings on social media, which is just a nonsense. My fellow wonderful audience, please do not, do not, do not believe this. I don't know. Is it a person? They call opposition late. Is, he a, is it a person they brought here, want to mislead us, or what? Greetings. How can we learn greetings through social media when we were born and raised by our mothers who teach us how to greet and how to have manners and respect? That is just a nonsense. I cannot take that. And so all those things, social media, we know everything about social media. How can you know everything about social media? Just, they, they, this is just bad. And also saying we learn buildings. So, what is the use of our architecture? People learn architecture in this Gambia. What is the reason? How can we learn having new buildings? And also, then I would like to straighten the points of my prime minister, which says isolation, self-isolation. It is unfriendly. It is antisocial because people will isolate. You will go to a house. They don't even have family time to chat. They will be sitting. At, Everyone will hold your phone and then doing anything you feel like doing. Even students, they will not study. They will not study and they will not concentrate. But instead, they're watching YouTube, Snapchat, and also this TikTok, which is just, which is nothing but a time waste. And also self absorption. You'll be wasting your time. Some people are married to their phones. The first thing you, will go, you do when you wake up in the morning is to touch your phone, which is just unfriendly because you will not pray, you will not do anything. It's just time waste. And also, the bad things, it's really over that my Prime Minister has mentioned everything. All my Prime Minister mentioned here is the right thing. Because social media is really anti-social. And I will also come to my points. And the first point, Mr. Chairperson, is scammers. Which is too much in this country right now. I stand here as a victim. Because I received a message from a non-person non telling me that, are you interested? in studying abroad, is it part of the university? Sending me letters and also tell me to have details about my, my details and also say me, yes, this is online thing. Yeah, you will pay online, you will pay the registration fee. After you pay the show before region, if you, if you read the university, then you have it. I was so smart enough to know that these people are not in reality. This is just cowards, so I ignored. And the person still keep on texting me. Every time I went online, I would see the message, well, I ignore it. And also, and, and also, um, the online sexual harassment, which is so rampant.
come now. This house believes that social media is really anti-social. The online harassment and bullying is too much. As my this also mentioned, you will be pushed. People will ask you to push. Like people, some people are just like, you don't know. You might think a friend or at times, you don't you, you use your mind. People will tell you, send me your lovely pictures, maybe you have fallen in love with a person, and then send your videos, and they, at the end, guess what? They'll be bullying you on social media. They'll be harassing you. Young girls are victims of that. People, you, people can mind it. I don't have your time, let me educate people. Sit down, let me educate your ignorance. My friend, you're supposed to come here to work with the Middle East people, and you want to follow, please excuse me. Sexual harassment is too much. And my fellow ladies here, if anyone wants to harass you, do it through, through social media. You can, you can link the Ministry of Gender, Social and Children Welfare, working with partner have put together a helping line that is 199. If anyone wants to bully those through social media, please link the Ministry of Gender and Social Welfare through 199. Yes, that is it. This house believes that social media is anti-social. It's not anti-social, and they should know that. Take example, during the COVID-19, we were learning online. We are not going anywhere, but we, we are getting um, knowledge through online, which is Zoom. Let me tell you right now that we connect through social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. At least we talk to families that are far away from us. Now we take example what is happening in the world. We can know it even a blink of eye. We have known it. The crisis in Yemen, in Palestine, we know it through social media. So, I see no reason to debate. This is not a debate topic. The scammers, the online sexual harassment is not convincing. I don't allow anybody to, to scam me. I don't allow anybody to sexual harass me. So, Deputy uh, Speaker, please, next time if you are coming here, you need to jot down good points. Let us debate. Before going for that, I will like to reboot his quack statement, what he said. And his coward statements, what he was saying here. Because when you move on the educationally, it's not making sense. 99% of the students, most, let's take from the Gambia College, during online classes, 99% of the students were complaining what? They were complaining what? They were affected. Mobile phone. Some of them don't have phone to buy phone for themselves. Others don't have phone to buy laptop for themselves. Others don't have phones to buy credit for themselves. Others don't have... My friend, I think I will, I will, I will, I will, I will quote from Professor Lumumba. He said, when your mind is conquered, then you go nowhere. I think their mind is conquered. They are nowhere to go. So when you move in the, the effects, what he said here, social media is not, he said more of dressing. Perhaps he cannot put on neckties. Perhaps today he even went to social media and dressed how to put on neckties. It is a big disgrace for the college student. Don't know how to dress. It's a disgrace. It's a big disgrace. So meaning he will go to the app and check the how to wear neckties, how to put on your shoes. It's a big digress. Uh, I think the topic that Pierre occupied us here, we should, I would like to embounce on the topics, which said social media is anti-socialist. All right, the importance or the, 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 the effects of social media here, the bad effects of social media, when you move into the scamming, I can testify this, School of Agriculture, even yesterday, I think my boss is there, Al Alcalo is there, he was even trying to give us a judging down about the, 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 the dangerous of this, the, 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 the bad effects of these scammers. Please, uh, I think uh, your leg is okay now. You can, please, allow me to talk first. Um, uh, when we move in the, the account, the account, many of the accounts are hacked by social media. 
Many of the accounts are hacked by the social media. Perhaps they are not familiar. They, are, they don't know what is current. They don't know what is going on. That's why they are trying to debate on social media is not anti-socialist. I even, perhaps I may even feel bad when I see myself on the, the, the newspapers while these people are saying social media is not anti-socialist. It's, it's painful. Please, can you sit down before you fall down again? Please. Please. Okay. When we move into... The... Like I was saying here, the scammers. These people use, they use different methods, and I was a victim of that. I had the reference, because the reference is myself. They scam me. They scam, this Canada, they scam me. It's an anti-socialist. When I think about it, I, 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 it is painful for me. It, they scam me. That is anti-socialist. And for themselves, we are talking, speaking here, trying to convince, trying to convince your brains Please, please don't follow them. They are quack leaders. Well, before going further, I would like to define the key terms for you. Social media. Social, me social media simply means the websites um, and applications that enables individuals or people to interact with one another. So, and social, um, antisocial refers to the things we do that are against our social interaction. Mr. Kia, I have a few points to give to you today, but before doing that, I will first like to mention these points. Honestly, I am very much surprised that the government has to bring this motion. This man, stand, this man sitting here, even against my colleague that some people did not even have phone or laptop. So this is what I want to say. Mr. If people do not have phone or laptop to use, how can social media affect their socialization, socialization, sir? Please, don't say anything, sir. Just keep quiet. I just have to say this, you know. He cannot even... He, at the end of his speech, he, he told us that, like, he doesn't even have much to say. If you know you don't have much to say, you cannot even defend your topic, sir. Please, keep quiet. Don't bring subtitles here. I would like to mention this, this part, and it is very significant. You see, we are not living in our utopia, ladies and gentlemen. We live in reality that has so many obstacle replicas. It is up to you, the government, to bring policies that will benefit the people. Social media connects the world and makes it one big village. For example, today, my friend, you can be sitting here and your father will be at Angleterre, or people normally call it England or UK. You can communicate with your father and he can tell you how the world goes. Your father, and, and one thing I would like to strengthen here is one point my colleague said here. My colleague said here. She said social media can help people to learn about their dress codes. Of course, this is very light. And you have the sense to come here, to stand here and tell us that um, that is false. I am very disappointed at you. Your father can be at the United States. You don't know your culture. Because of poverty, your father traveled and went to the United States. How can you hear from your father without social media? How can you learn your culture without social media, my friend? And also, I would like to tell you that disease can be controlled today because of social media. We as public health officials, today, like for instance, people that you know, they cannot go out, or they don't have access to meet public health officials, and they have access to their mobile phones, um, for instance, an old, one will be, an old one will be at home and she has a mobile phone, she doesn't know how to operate it. But her child will be at home and when we communicate to child, we can enlighten the child, we can enlighten the grandma about the best use of um, the preventive measures to, to COVID-19. And also, honest to God, social, so, social media, it is very much good because it provides job opportunities. For instance, the other day I was standing, you know, as students, we don't know what to do sometimes. We'll be sitting and we'll be broke. At the end of the day, we will not even have what to, uh, what, what to come with as lunch to the school or how to pay our fare. So there was a day I was sitting at home and I saw an advertisement. This adver advertisement says there is a welding work at so-so place. So I was very much interested. Social media taught me that. I was interested and I applied for it. So fortunately, I got the job. 
And today, when I'm coming to school, I can even use money from that and use it to pay my fare, use it and... So you see, these are the importance of social media. You see, the moment that Ali Himas decided to take actions in securing their lives marks the birth of social media. As that's the moment when they started to ask themselves two vital questions about the world surrounding them. Those questions are how and why. How can we live in this world? Why should we live in this world? Because of social media, we can interact, we can move, and the world can be developed. Mr. Chair, Honorable Speaker, I would like to tell you that learning is living. Living is acting, interacting, and doing. Social media helps us to act. Social media helps us to interact. My friend, you cannot come here and tell us that social media is antisocial. I am very much disappointed at you. Something that helps you to act. Something that helps you to interact. Something that gives you the courage. Social me because of social media today, you are sitting here, my friend. Because I know when this information was sent to you, you don't even know because you don't come to you don't you don't come to the school. You were called by your people and they told you that there will be a debate competition at the school. So today you are sitting here against in social media. Something that gave you the impact, something that gave you the capability and the ability to sit here today. Social media is very vital. Gruesome. 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 This clerk was trying to say that opposition the, the government bench, he was trying to against them that the social media is anti-socialist. I said, a big no to it. We are concrete and stick to the point that social media is anti-socialist. Due to the fact that what is elaborated by my people, the minister, the, the, minister, uh, the government bench, they have said that during the online classes, how many of us were denied classes due to the low cost of having the finance to buy megabytes, phones and laptops to access classes? Is that not against our right to education? My friend, you guys, public health, I think you know about health issue. Constantly concentrated in my phone, that light of the screen, will it not affect my eyes? Between you and Allah, say the truth. Of course, you have nothing to say. This thing is not even a matter to be discussing. My friend, my, the other point I would like to say is, uh, this guy, this man said that you cannot, uh, like cyberbullying, cyberbullying. It means like the sending of romantic pictures and videos. I would like to refer you to the Oxford Dictionary. Go and search for the meaning. You will not against that. You will violate a woman through social media. My other point is the depression and anxiety that is caused by social media. Of course, yes, the only health is self-centered. Social media isolates you. You don't interact with people. My friend, sit down I clarify your ignorance. Social media leads you not to interact with people. Of course, yes. Because if it was not this thing, all of us will be sitting, browsing. And that will lead us to envy. Do you know what is envy? If you don't know, I would like to tell you. You see beautiful mansions, beautiful vehicles. And what? You will envy those guys. That will lead you to follow this pathway journey. Will it be good to you? And where do you sit? Is it not through the social media? If it was not social media, will you see that? No, a big no for that matter. Therefore, Social media is a threat. In fact, not only anti-socialists, but a threat to the nation at large. My friend, co-debaters, I am so, you have fully agreed with me that social media is an anti-socialist. Because, as the government bench has rightly said, they said, sit down, let me clarify your ignorance. They have said everything. Because these scammers, someone was asking a question that whether if they are using a gun to force you to accept those cameras. My friend, not a gun, but they play with your brain. You are stranded, my sister. If you could see a visa lottery, will you not apply? And it's a very big fake. They will end up telling you that they will help you. Give me your bank accounts. You give it to them. They will get, and get the hell off out of all the money which is in the bank account. And you stay nothing. Thinking that you will be taken. Who will take you? My friend, use your brains. 
They were shouting on us. And you said you are here to educate. You educate by shouting. Is that what we are taught in our schools? Was that what we were taught from primary school up to date? I will allow you to debate with that question. Also, from the government bench, one of the speakers said, social media, um, it's like in social media, we only have scammers. It was not a surprise to me at all that almost all those from the government bench were talking about scam. It is disgracing that they did not understand the topic that we are talking about. You cannot only come and talk about scam when you don't even understand the topic. And I would like to remind you the topic very well. The topic is, this house believes social media is antisocial, and which we are speaking against. And I would like, I have some corrections to make. Um, it was a disgrace that the government bench did not understand the topic. And also, and I quote from one of the speakers, says that we have ladies that are sending naked pictures on social media. If they were sending naked pictures on social media, where are you forced to watch? Where are you forced to upload those pictures and watch them in your mobile phone? And also, and I will quote from Mark Zuckerberg, when he was creating the Facebook, for example, he did not create it for you to go and scam other people's account. He did not create it for you to go and post or upload naked pictures on Facebook. That is a reminder. But it is the way we are misusing social media. But that cannot justify and that cannot give you the odds to come and say here that social media is antisocial. Anything we are doing, I will remind you that anything we are doing today in this generation, it depends on social media. I will take COVID-19 for example. When there was an outbreak of COVID-19 in China, we knew it through social media. And that is when the government of this country was able to lay measures that we are going to prevent ourselves from that COVID-19. Where were you? Did you have that information from China by walking? And I will remind you that social media is not only on the internet. And I can remind you that the government bench was only basing their conversation on the internet. That is to say, they don't still understand the topic that they were debating on. So that means it does not even make sense to come and debate on a topic that you don't even have understanding on. <laughs> Chairperson, I will now go ahead to give my own point. The social media, before that, I would like to strengthen my colleague's point. One of our colleagues said that we use the social media to learn. We use the social media to communicate. We use that social media to know what is happening in the wider world and what is happening around us. How are we going to know all that if we are not using social media? How? Tell me. Are we geniuses? Is it that our, 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 our earring or the way we hear has been proven beyond the expected hazard? POI is rejected for the meantime. <laughs> Chairperson, Speaker of the House, I would like to remind them once again that social media is not antisocial. If you said it is antisocial, that means you are saying that it has I mean, it, has again, it is against our social interactions. That is what you are saying. It is against our social interaction, which is not true. It depends on the way you utilize it. One of the speakers from the government bank said, we need to use our mind. Then use your mind. Do not let scammers fool you. Use your mind. Use your mind. Don't let them scam you. Because they are not standing with a gun behind you that you must accept it when they are scamming you. I deliberately brought in that question when I asked him that <coughs> when I asked him that um, is it that um, they, 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 stand, they stand with gun behind you I deliberately brought in that and unfortunately he was unable to defend himself because all what he told me was asking another question which is wrong a question cannot answer another question 
chairperson from the alert, I knew that I don't have much time left. I would like to once again remind you of our debate strategy. We said we are going to refute on our opponent's point, which we did. We also said we are going to give our own points, which we did. And some of them are we learn through the social media. We, 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 we are educated through the social media. And we knew much things through social media. And also, in conclusion, I would like to let you know that social media is not anti-social. On that note, I would like to leave you with three letters in the alphabet, and they are PLU, simply Peace, Love, Unity. God bless, I now rest my keys. School of Agriculture, um, School of Public Health. It was a very, very tough contest. Um, however, um, if you look at the margin, it says a lot about um, the adjustment that is needed. Um, in the other school because it's quite a, a, a huge margin but I'm sure um, you will improve because this is an opportunity for you to learn this is an opportunity for, for you to overcome certain challenges that you may have faced as stated in the market scheme so without wasting much time first I'll start with the, the runner-up and then the winner so who is the runner-up ladies and gentlemen who is the runner-up? Uh, is it education? Is it education? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up for this first round of the Gambia College Annual Debate Championship is School of Agriculture. The mental and verbal dexterity, I give my submissions on the proposition in the most reasonable, justifiable, attainable, measurable, and undeniable concept of point of view. Mr. Chair, the well-acquainted adjudicators before me, members of the audience, greetings to you all. In my capacity as the Prime Minister of this uh, as the Prime Minister before this House, I would like to give set the parameter of this com uh, set the parameter of this composition and give the architectural layout before the House. The well-meaning adjudicators setting the parameter of the debate. Uh, setting the parameter of the debate, I would talk about the economic effects of the proposition, social effect, political effects. And in my architectural layout, I will define the key terms and give two unrefutable uh, points to stand in the proposition. The well-meaning adjudicators, the proposition before the House reads, the, uh, the proposition before the House reads, this House will adopt two-party system in the Gambia. The House will, act, the house will adopt two-party system in the Gambia. Honorable, uh, honorable uh, Speaker, Going through this proposition, I would like to define the key terms in the proposition. First, according to, according to uh, Wikipedia, when we talked about the key terms in this proposition reads, adopt is a key term, and then party system is a, uh, is a key term. 
Adopt means an initiation of an idea, according to Wikipedia. According to Lana's Advanced Dictionary, the well-acquainted adjudicators, two-party system is a system which only two political parties are allowed to contest in a presidential legislative election of a particular country. So therefore, in my architectural layout, as I said, I will define the key terms. Now I will move on to two concrete points to support this proposition that the House will adopt two-party system. One, uh, it promotes competent selection of leaders. Let's take an example of America. There, are, uh, there, are, there is a two-party system. Therefore, we have the Democrats and then the uh, Republicans. Therefore, when we talked about it promotes competent selection, now, before the selection of Joe Biden, they went through an electoral process that is what lead him to win or to be the eligible candidate of the Democrats. And he is a well-meaning president of the United States, currently uh, one of the superpowers in the world. To move on, it regulates the security system of the country. I will still take reference from United States of America, uh, the well-meaning adjudicators. There is no affiliation of securities to the nation's affairs or to the affairs of the leaders based on the fact that leaders come and move. They see their country first. In the case of the Gambia, if this thing also happened in our situations in the Gambia, there would be nothing like to stick to a particular leader in our country. For instance, what the impasse in 2016, while well meaning adjudicators. In 2016 presidential election, the time Jamme refused to relinquish power. We have seen some loyalty from our security personnel, and then therefore that lead to chaos in our country. First of all, um, the opening government says when Jamia was here, the country was, when Jamia was here, um, he said the country was not going normal. And by then we were still having a um, multi party system. But, um, the very advantage of multi-party system on the aspect of Jamme is the coalition was formed. And there were other parties like GDC, PDOIS. So when the coalition came, wait, let me clear this point first. When the coalition came, it gives power. That coalition was power. The coalition itself, the, vote, the votes the coalition had, made it possible for Jambé to be where he is today. And if PDOIS was not there, if GDC was not there, maybe all those votes will have been Jambé's own. And at the end of the day, today we will still be in that lifestyle. We will still be in that dictatorship. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, please, next time when you are raising a topic, Please try and consider, please. And another thing he said, he said we have 18 political parties and that is not good for the system. So yes, we have almost 18 political parties in the Gambia. And of those 18 political parties, it encourages competi encourage competition. Because like when there is only two party system in the country, there will be no competition. And the ruling party, will, you know, for instance, when you, because we believe that in our, in our society, we believe that um, the ruling party can never be defeated by an opponent party. Coming back to my point, the first thing, it is self the economy, that, that is the state's economic resources. You realize that once we have many parties in our country, when election is coming up, IC is always giving out an amount of money to the, party, the, the political parties. Now looking at it, if we have two political parties, the amount that should have been given to the other parties can be used in the education sector, in the health sector, in the life. The other point I have is, it reduces political disputes. We can see disputes around. And I can see an article that was published on the 18th November 2000, not long ago, 2019. And I quote, that this multi-political party in our country is leading us to be on a, on a, on a, on a, on a bad errand. One can say one. One is, it brings chaos and anarchy, law and lawlessness in our nation. It brings criminology. One. 
I quote from reference. And if you want, you can go to that particular newspaper that was published 2019, 20 November. Mr. Chairperson, when I came here, I gave the architectural layout of my debate. First, I um, debunked on the baseless points raised by the um, opposition leader. Second, I strengthened the points made by my honorable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to start with like um, the government bench here bring up this debate topic just to serve their political interest. Um, how can we allow two party states in this country? It's just like it is me, after you, it is me. Two party state, that's what it is. Like they will just respect the democracy. But after every 10 years, this one will go in come out, this other one will go in and come out with no competition. They will be ripping us. Let me start with the Prime Minister. We don't need to reference from America. We are blacks, they are whites, we are Africans. The American system cannot change Africa. It's the African system that can change Africa. He made mention of America, which they have only two party states. But I will not lie to you, they know after Trump is Biden, after Democrat is Republican. And the crime rate is high. The media is not just showing us. It's a propaganda. So please, I don't want you to use America as a reference. Crime rate is high in America. Reference, you go to www.presstv.com. Now, let's take Africa, where they have tried to participate or result with war, chaos. We know. Sierra Leone, Liberia, we know what happened. Do we want this to happen in the Gambia? No. Yaya Jamel left because of the coalition won him. That's the time we have intervention. If the coalition should have not won him, there will be no intervention. They don't need to fool you. They are fooling you. How, how there is going to be intervention without, without any winning from the opposition side? Now, the deputy prime minister mention of Economical stability. How? How? Tell me how. There is no competition. It's only a two-party state. I know after me is you. There is no competition. It's just to serve their political interest. End of the day, they will rip us and put money in their pocket and left. That's all. He, t he mentioned about security. And let me tell you this. Two-party state will deny citizens their political right, which is to vote and to be voted for. We have competent people that will not be lucky to be among the two party states. We have competent youths which are ready to rule the nation, but they are not lucky to be part of the two party state. Now let's mention about um, political dispute. I guess political dispute can result only to two party states. Yes. If we now let's check Africa, we have tribalism, which everyone knows it's not hidden. We know. So just imagine if A and B they are the only one ruling. If A rule, he will just employ the A members. If B rules, he will just employ the B members. Where about C, D, E, and F? What will happen? What will happen? Let's, to be frank enough, Mr. Speaker, let's just take restances. We have other countries that have just been ruled by two-party state. That doesn't develop them. Yes.